Welcome back to Sunday Sports Zone. I'm here joined by UNF head coach Matthew Driscoll, fresh off getting your second straight A Sun title in. Made you sweat a little bit at the end of that JU game. So were you kind of more relieved or excited about being able to pull out that tough victory? Well, obviously, as a coach, you're really, really excited that the, your guys really get to understand everything they've done, all the work they've put in, and to do it in back-to-back -back years. First time since Belmont to be outright champions back-to-back -back years. There's something to be said for doing those kind of things, and I'm really excited for them. With that comes a lot of expectations. And you mentioned uh, the experience of your team. Now, how important is that, especially this time of the year, as we're getting ready to shift forward towards March? Well, right now, everybody's 0-0. There are no records anymore. And every game is a one-game game. And it's win or advance and lose or go home. So it's really critical right now when you have... There's only 10 guys in the league that have played for an Atlantic Sun championship. Five of them are on our team. What's ironic is four are on Upstate's team. So there'll be nine Tuesday night at 7.30 when we tip off at the arena playing in that particular game. When you have that kind of experience, we're the only Division I team in America that has five 1,000-point scores that are all Division I points. And two of them are over 1,500. So not only do we have the experience just from being on the floor, but we also have the experience of scoring the ball. I think we're the fifth best scoring team in America. And as long as we can defend and rebound like we're capable of, I like our chances every single night. In that post-game press conference, it seemed like you and Dallas Moore were almost like answering each other's questions for each other. So how great is you guys' relationship, especially with him being your point guard? He's almost like your own voice talking to the team. Dallas and I's relationship is, is really, really deep. And um, we, we go a lot of different ways and a lot of different directions, and we talk about a lot of different things outside of the game. However, with the game, I think, is what you're asking about. We spent a lot of time on videotape. We spent a lot of time on articles. We spent a lot of time on breaking things down and understanding exactly what he's capable of and why is the assist total so high. Pretty soon, he'll break the single-season assist in one year, and he's averaging 20 a game. And also, because you're a very busy man outside of playing basketball now, we're just a couple of days away from you opening up conference play, but uh, you somehow found time in your schedule to officiate a wedding, so how did that come about? One of our former NCAA directors who worked at the university and one of our trainers who worked at the university he said, Coach, we need someone spiritual with energy and knows us. That's definitely you. Marius? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how do I do that? They're like, go online. Anybody can do that. So I belong <laughs> to the American Marriage Ministries, and I got a number and everything, and I'm legal, and I can sign papers, and I can, I can marry people. So today was my first wedding uh, that I've ever performed, and, uh, and it was exciting. And I was able to be me, mm -hmm. and that was part of what they wanted in the wedding. So they got a good let's go. Hey, thanks a lot, Coach. And, uh, Good luck to you uh, coming up on Tuesday and, you know, hopefully going forward towards the uh, NCAA tournament. Well, we appreciate it. Tuesday night, 730 at the arena. It's going to be a lot of fun.